FedEx driver is arrested in the kidnapping and killing of a seven-year-old girl who went missing outside her home this week, police say. A driver working for FedEx was arrested and charged Friday in the kidnapping and killing of a seven-year-old girl who had disappeared from her home's driveway in Texas earlier this week, police said. Athena Strand's body was recovered Friday evening, Wise County Sheriff Lane Akin said at a news conference. It hurts our hearts to know that child died, Akin said Friday. It's one of the toughest investigations that I've been involved in because it's a child. And any time there's a child that dies, it just hits you in your heart, he said. Athena was reported missing Wednesday and authorities launched a search for her across Wise County, located northwest of Fort Worth. Authorities believe the young girl was killed within an hour after her kidnapping from her family's driveway, which is about 200 yards from her home. The suspect, Tanner Lynn Horner, 31, has been charged with capital murder and aggravated kidnapping. The suspect, Tanner Lynn Horner, 31, has been charged with capital murder and aggravated kidnapping. Tanner Lynn Horner, 31, is being held in Wise County Jail on capital murder and aggravated kidnapping charges, according to its website. Bond was set at $1.5 million, Akin said. It was unclear whether Horner had an attorney Friday. Horner, identified by authorities as a contract driver for FedEx, was allegedly making a delivery to Athena's home at the time she disappeared. Earlier Friday, police say they received a tip that helped investigators determine Horner abducted the child from her driveway. Strand's mother, Maitland Presley Gandy, said her daughter was taken from her by a sick, cruel monster for absolutely no reason, she wrote in a Facebook post on Saturday morning. I cannot describe the pain and absolute anger I feel. Missing her doesn't cover how I feel, Gandhi said in the post accompanying a video of Athena, then age three, I want the world to know my baby, my first baby, my first true love, the reason I breathe. Athena is innocent, beautiful, kind, intelligent, and just the brightest, happiest soul you could ever meet. I don't want her to be the girl known as the one murdered and discarded by a monster, she added. I want everyone to know, every single person in this world, that this is my baby and my baby was taken from me. I want everyone to know her face and her voice and just how wonderful of a person she is. Athena will be remembered for so much, like her dream of growing up to be a Viking princess with tattoos just like her dad's, how much she loved her two little sisters, and her love for anything pink, her mother wrote. Authorities did not indicate a possible motive and said Horner did not know the family or the child, according to Akin. Athena's cause of death remains under investigation and her body was transferred to the medical examiner's office Friday, Akin said. In a statement to CNN, FedEx expressed its sympathies and directed further questions to law enforcement. Words cannot describe our shock and sorrow at the reports surrounding this tragic event. First and foremost, our thoughts are with the family during this most difficult time, and we continue to cooperate fully with the investigating authorities, the statement reads. Authorities in Texas confirmed that the body of a seven-year-old girl who went missing from her family's Paradise home Wednesday evening was located 10 miles away, in southeast Boyd. Athena Strand, 7, was kidnapped by FedEx driver Tanner Lynn Horner who confessed to the abduction. We knew early on the investigation that there had been a FedEx driver, made a delivery in front of the house, about the same time that little Athena came up missing, Wise County Sheriff Lane Akin said late Friday. The 31-year-old was linked to Athena's murder through digital evidence, police said without elaborating on the point. The child was killed, within the very hour or so after her departure from her home. Investigators were initially misled by an argument Athena had with her stepmom, moments before she vanished at around 5.45 p.m. We know that there was a little bit of an argument between her and her stepmom last night but it isn't anything unusual, Akin added. There was that argument, then stepmom went to fix dinner, came back to get Athena, and Athena wasn't in her room. Athena's maternal aunt told reporters that the family didn't believe she ran off. She's a very loving, friendly kid, loves people, loves animals, loves flowers, she's a very girly girl, 